so I already have my moisturizer applied. Um, I want to apply my lip gloss or my lip chapstick, you know, because it'll soak in by the time I need to put my lipstick on. If you hear that noise, it's just Alex playing his Xbox. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to use Bear Study by MAC. I'm also doing um, a darker eyeshadow today, so I don't want the fallout to compromise my. You know what I'm saying. So, the first thing that I'm gonna do is kind of create a base for my eyes. Um, and I should have pre washed everything, but I didn't. Okay, how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna apply this, which is soft brown matte to my lid and I'm going to blend it a little bit above my crease. Hey, love. All I want to do right now is put some foundation on because my skin is so crazy. So I'm just going to blend it up. I hate this freaking brush for blending. <laughs> it's so bad. I need to wash my brushes. I only washed my face ones. Maybe I'll wash them tonight, because I don't need them tomorrow morning. Alright, so this is more of just like a base, does that make sense? So I'm going to do a dark smudged lid, and then I'm going to move up. I'm going to do really dark in the corner, and then it's going to get lighter. So this is my new, it's Twinks by MAC. I'm just gonna put it on the lid. This brush is not. You guys notice I have different lighting in here. I ordered, um, I forget what it's called. <laughs> HD lighting, is that what it is? Um, off of Amazon, it's a little strip of lights and it was like $20. This is what I use at makeup school, this is kind of light because they're like, if you look good in this light, you'll look good in any light. Okay. So I'm just really trying to layer that color on my lids. Next, I'm gonna take this brush. <laughs> I'm gonna take Brown Script by MAC. I love these colors because they make my green eyes stand out. And I'm gonna go in the crease. I just really wanted the script color to lay in more, so I'm gonna use a flat brush. liberally in my dreams last night I dreamed of this eyeshadow look so I hope it turns out <laughs> do you guys ever do that okay now that I have my crease color I'm gonna go in with my corner color which is beauty marked it's kind of like a red black um, and I'm just gonna do the corners and then I'm gonna blend it out Blend it out. So I kind of want to get a smaller brush, which this Avon brush is really good for. That's what I use it for always. And I'm just doing kind of like a V right on my lid in the corner of it. Lately, I haven't. This is my first time I've put eyeshadow on in so long, cause I've been really digging the whole like. No makeup, no eyeshadow, just a really bold lip color. But I, yesterday at MAC I got more high tea, which is my favorite like lip product, my favorite lipstick, I should say. And um, 
I want to use it. I just blend it out. You can even grab more of that color. I always grab more of the color I'm blending out. Okay, now I need to get my brow out. Braboon? Braboon color. Naked. Oh my gosh, it's a catastrophe. The black has moved everywhere. Horrible. Oh my gosh. I have to repress it. All my repressing stuff's out anyways. Okay, going in with Foxy from the Naked 2 palette, and I'm going to do my whole brow bone. Hopefully I don't pick up any of this black. And blending under the brow bone. Alright, next I'm going to do my inner corner, which I'm going to use gold. And this is just gold line, gold mine from MAC. It's a frost. It's pretty much a very true gold color. I want the true gold color. Now I'm going to go with my Bare Minerals Queen Phyllis, which looks like this. It's just a shimmery neutral color. And I'm going to put it on the highlight of my brow. And all my brushes are dirty. Yep, I'm cleaning them today. It's going to happen. Just right there. Just a little glitter. And I'm going to put a little bit in my tear duct because It is fierce. My calculations were correct. I'm going to use a combination of these two colors. I know they look very different. Um, this one's kind of like my overall tanner. I go back through with this one at the end. And this one's kind of like my all over color because I'm getting pale. And I use it for, I use sponge application because sponge application is a more fuller coverage. And, um, I really only do full coverage when I'm going to be out for a long time, and I don't know how long we're going to be out. I mean, I do full coverage when we're not going to be out for a long time. <laughs> funny. And we're just going to be running some errands and stuff, so. I assume that we aren't going to be running. <laughs> Guys, I can't talk today. It's Sunday. Um, I assume that we are not going to be running errands for too long because Alex said he doesn't want today to turn into a shopping day. So after I apply with the sponge, I go back through with my Urban Decay foundation brush and I just kind of blend everything in. And I bring it down my neck that way so I don't just have these like, uh, that's the worst. I'm gonna need to do some serious under eye concealing today. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my super brown color and I just take my, sp my brush and I kind of stipple it and I'm just gonna, I look like I'm dying. <laughs> um, rub it in. Give some color to my face. It seems to work for me, so. I love the color I end up with in the end. And don't forget, I'm gonna be putting powder over this and everything. I'm going to use a combination today of my Sonia Kashuk palette and the 7 and a Race Paste by Benefit. Um, yeah, I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. So I go in with this color, which is definitely a green-based color. And I'm just going to kind of mix it in with this color. Now the thing about a Race Paste is this might be really thick on my skin because erase paste is super thick. So I'm patting it in. Then I'm gonna go with my brush again and just kind of blend it out. It looks really pinky because of the erase paste. To me at least, but you know. Now I'm gonna go in and conceal these little lines right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lightest color, which is right here, and I'm going to take her, here it is, a angled brush, and 
You guys are on my mirror, so I can't really. Draw it on the outside of the line. And then I'm gonna get a fluffy brush, which once I wipe the product off of this brush, it'll be fluffy, kind of. It's still not fluffy enough. Take my Ben Nye brush, fluffiest I got. Pull the product out. I'm gonna take my, I use this sponge for about two days, three days. Then I'm going to go in with this light powder, which is the um, finishing powder, I guess you would call it. And I'm just going to seal all my foundation and go in with my... What I'm going to use is my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. Um, this is just a lock-in powder kind of a situation, basically, to just seal in all this stuff I just put on my face. Um, I'm going to use my Nude Beige Rimmel Stay Matte because I have a lot of foundation on my face. And this foundation, it oils up real quick. Um, so, this used to be my old favorite um, bronzer. And it's this. it was part of the MAC Skin Finish Natural. And it's dark and it's just like matte powder, no shimmer or anything. It's really good for highlighting and contouring. Taking my little angled brush. And I just run it. Around my forehead. I don't really want to do heavy contouring. Okay. Then I go in with my Bare Minerals Kabuki brush and I go in and I just blend it in. I like to go for more of a neutral contour. on my cheeks is Max Lilicent. Um, it is a cream blush. It's a really pretty fall color. It's like my favorite problem. And I'm using one of these. You can see all the stippling hairs in here. And I just go from here up like that. I do the 80s blush. What can I say? I'm a fan. I'm a fan of it. So I'm going to put my Bobbi Brown um, Shimmer Brick on top of it. I'm just going to And what I always use is my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. It's my go-to. It's like $2 at the store. It's amazing. Next is my clear mascara, which is way cheaper than Brow Fix, let me tell you. Um, it is the same thing. I'm not going to use. Okay, so first I'm going to do is I'm going to go under my eyes, my drop shadow, and what am I going to use to do that? This hair, whatever it is, is really like in my eyeball. Okay. I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown um, eyeliner. And I'm using my Bobbi Brown eyeliner brush, but I have to wet it first. So close. using the L'Oreal mascara. I haven't used it in a really long time. I should probably get rid of it. I'm going to do, I'm going to do something funky. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever purple mascara. 
it's called Smoky Lash and it's in purple and I'm going to do my bottom lashes in that. Okay. Now I'm going to do my L'Oreal on the top. I'm going to do lips and I'm going to be using Sculpture. It's kind of like a nude-esque lip liner. Like you can't even really see it, you know? And I'm using my favorite lipstick by MAC, which is High Tea. And it's my favorite because it's very neutral. Get ready. Maybe I'll do an outfit of the day today.